I'm going to hit the center with this pawn here. Just doing things differently. See how it pans out. Do we bring the queen back when it gets attacked? Or, yeah, let's just bring it straight back. Okay, let's develop the knight. And let's push through here. They seem to know how to handle this position. Okay, they've given us the time to get our king castle, so that's a positive. Okay, let's go here. Shall we develop the knight supporting the pawn? And... I feel like attacking the bishop, opening up this file, attacking here. Eh, do, 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 there's nothing much else, is there? Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think they'll be happy to double our pawns here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, they're not. Interesting times. Let's take. And we could push on to the pawn here. Pawn takes. Knight takes. We haven't got enough armory there. I'm just going to go for plain old boring bishop acting as a pawn. Let's just bring the rook here. Looking to jump the knight into here if we've got time. Because did they lose a bit of tempo moving the rook back? Maybe, not too sure. So knight takes, so going to continue with attacking the knight. Taking the pawns on the knight. Knight's probably going to jump here, attacking the bishop and the pawn. So it'll be overworking the queen a bit. So we may end up with double pawns on this side. It's not doing any of that, so it's getting a little bit arty. Um, I'm hoping it's a negative arty. I'm going to push on to the bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece like we do. So they've come back and attacked. So we could go here, but his knight can take us. So we can easily escape. I'm going to bring the knight back around. So the knight's dancing, knight's dancing, looking to attack the bishop. Don't mind the bishop getting taken. Could go and attack their bishop. They'd probably push the pawn down. We take, they take, yeah. Okay, so let's attack their bishop. There's no rush here. It's a, is it a five second increment? 20 minutes, five second increment. But looking at the basics, the opponent's done a lot of dancing. I'm not sure if it's improved their position or not. I think they're trying to squeeze the king queen here to get here, but we've got our knight here. So are they thinking, can we get rid of this knight? So, yeah, you see. <laughs> That's why they're taking so long. So if we take, then it's obviously going to take here. Then he's looking at getting some sort of power base towards here. So we don't have to take. We could attack their queen, but then his bishop can take. So if we take here first and then bring the knight here attacking the queen, because the pawn's going to open up, like we said. So we're going to attack their queen with a smaller piece, which is the knight. So I would assume they would just go back. If they're looking to come here to put pressure on this pawn. We do have the knight being able to attack here. He can still stay there by dropping to this square. So we'll see. I think they'll go here. Go there. Then he's going to drop here, attack it. Oh, he's greedy. Oh, the greedy munching queen. Now we know all about the greedy munching queen. It's gone to the other side of the board. Grabbed a pawn. So that doesn't improve their position as far as we know when when we see these things. So we could go and attack the queen. So they're plus one at the moment. Or we can mobilize our queen ourselves. Maybe not to here. Attacking the knight. Supported at the minute. What's my knight doing? What's this knight doing? Could attack their knight. The queen supporting. Could look to get another pawn taken off the board and improve our position with the rook. Coming round the back. I think that's what we're going to do. So let them greedy munch for another pawn. Well, hopefully we can... It's not actually gone for the pawn. Well, that's a horse of a different colour, isn't it? 
So he's moved there dead quick. Going to take anyway. Maybe he's just thinking oh, he's just going to challenge. Ooh, he's got a two on one with the knight. That's very, that's very slick, isn't it? That is very slick. Yeah, so we take, then the rook, I would say, is taking the knight. Maybe the queen better, because, yeah, we'll take. That's very slick, yeah. And then they can attack this pawn as well. So the rook's gone, so he can attack this pawn. We can move the king up because it is the rook. If it was the queen, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So I'm going to move the king up, but again, because he's got two pieces, he can still take the pawn. But the rook doesn't have any place in the centre of the board, really. So how do we get to his king? We've already got one ready, rook ready and set here. Rook could come and attack their queen and the rook. But, yeah, I think we can. So just bring the rook up, attacking the queen and the rook. Because the knight is supporting this square. So when the pawn takes, the queen is not going to take back. Or do we take with the knight even? I'm liking my knight's position. It's just that it's not getting anywhere in there at the minute. But I think probably keep... If we take, then his rook's probably going to come here looking to replicate that position. Whereas if we bring the knight here, it's blocking the queen at the minute. We could always come back and attack their queen. My queen just can't get to their king. I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated about that. So knight takes rather than doubling. Knight takes rather than doubling. Rook comes to replicate, like we said. But there's nothing supporting here, so the queen can take. Queen can mobilise now and actually start attacking this pawn area here. So I think that's what we are going to do. So we've found a way in. He can obviously defend it. So it's attacked, but we can put a check on the king. There's no meat on the bones, though, is there? I mean, he's got his king, queen that can come and put a check on. Mm, is that slow potatoes? So if we take this pawn looking to try and squish, that looks like a long-winded way of doing things. Could attack the rook. Late, no, we're in the game. Then he, he comes down with a check on our king. We move up. What's his knight got? Oh, his knight's got a check on our king, actually. Uh, that's a bit annoying. I'm going to attack the rook. Knight comes and puts a check. Or oh, the queen comes and puts a check. Some, one of those. So we're one, one move away from actually squishing the king. Do they have a complete squish? Do they have to work for it a bit, I think? Check. Up. Oh, hold on. If his knight gets to here. Right. So if his knight gets to here, then he'll have this square. If the queen is here, then he'll be able to get maybe like a checkometer of some sort. Because the rook's holding this file. But that's more than two moves away, isn't it? Where... One move away from squishing. They would have to go boom. I ha lose tempo. I have to move up. His knight moves down. But then we would get the squish on the king. So they're a move behind that move order. I believe that's what they're thinking. Ah, they've actually moved. So the cat kind of kind of defending the rook as well. Damn it. So we can move back by taking the pawn. So that then we can come here and go squish. I'm going to try that. 
So we're one move away from a squish now. One, two, this knight's got the check on me. Oh, this knight's got the check. Oh, he could do it, you know. Oh, sad times. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. They've won the time back. Check. Maybe if I go here, then I've not, he's not got a check on me. All right, don't panic. Yeah, so if I go there, he's got the check on. If I go here, he doesn't. But then what does his queen do? His queen is not going to take the knight. Doesn't have any other checks. Knight can't do a magical check. Oh, hold on. The rook can come down. Oh, my days. It's over. It's over. He comes down here. If we go here, his rook takes the pawn with a check on us. And we can't, we have to go here and then his queen takes. And then that's checkmate. Oh no, that's cold. I can't even get out of that. The queen can't. Look, he's seen it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so probably not even better going here. The knight comes here, puts a check on. And we move up. And we're in that bad position because... Then the queen comes and puts a check here. What can we hide? We can't really hide here, can we? Because this knight can just move and get our queen. If we went up here, it just come here and get. Oh, it's damn! I thought we were doing good. I thought we were going to do it. We can't do anything. We could bring this knight down. But then he's just got checks on me all the way. So I'm going to... That's the only thing. All the other moves are just getting me totally mashed up. Yeah, so he's just going to put a check on me. What do I need to do? And then do something. <sighs> could bring the knight up again. Then it's a repetition. Oh, just when I thought it was, I'm one move away and they've got a repetition type thing going on. Or even a checkmate, but I think they'll lose a bit of tempo if they do do that, because that gets them squished. So I think they've got to keep the momentum going. If they move, yeah, they have moved there. So if we move here, no, say on a dark square, Then he loses that tempo. So we move here. So he's already done all that. So we move here. He's got no more checks directly on me. So he's going to have to probably just defend this pawn. He's going to move the knight, I think, so that the queen is defending this pawn. And the knight's able to take this pawn here. Which is a bit frustrating, isn't it? So if we bring the knight up, and if he comes back down again, bring the king up. But I don't think he's going to do that. I think he'll move the knight. So if we go, if we go here with the knight, I think he is focused on defending this pawn. So I think his knight is just going to come here and attack this pawn. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. That's a damn shame. Okay, let's move the knight up. Well, it's gone either way. He's still wanting to protect the pawn. We knew that. And... He's gone there dead quick because he's looking for a check here. Even if I go here, he gets a check on my king. If I move it to the side, he still gets checks. No matter where I go, I'm getting checked on with the, um, apart from here. So if I move here, he can still move there because the rook is protecting. 
I'm trying to get my king off of the line so that my knight can at least do something. Okay, so the knight's down. It's going to put a check on us. We can take this pawn. Nothing else doing, is there? Can take this pawn, takes us off of the line of the... So he doesn't have to think about defending there anymore. Or we could just attack the queen. But even when we go and attack the queen, he's still going to put the check on the king. So we still have to move. If we moved up, he could just go back again, putting the check on the king. Or... He can come down here and put a check on the king and looking to get the pawn. Shabby times with this knight. Moving across. Does he still go with this? Don't forget, he can still come down here with his queen. queen. So if he still did that, if we went there... Then his queen came down. Then we can't go back to this square. We'd have to go here. His queen can't take because our queen is protecting. Oh, do we do that then? Let's give that a shot. It's... It's getting very bitty. I'm probably doing it wrong. He does drop down. So we did say this. But he can't, well, he can take, but our queen can take. He could still continue doing this, but he's taken away the queen from the squish point. So there's no more checks. So I think the queen's just coming back here. Or oh, the rook's going there. That's what the answer to chess is all about. The opponent's using it. We're trying to use it. You know, squishing the king area, putting pressure towards the king or the king area on the pieces around the king. And that's the answer. The answer to chess is trying to find that solution. Squishing that king. At the minute, it's looking like the opponent's going to have no more. I think I would go back with the queen here, like we said, to protect this pawn because... That's our squish point, or they bring the rook back to protect the squish point, and then we have to think some more. If we come here, we're actually attacking the knight, but he can take the pawn with a check on our king. So the rook has gone undefended, so it gives play for the knight to actually jump up and put some pressure onto the pawn, whilst the queen's thinking of something. So I'm going to do that because at the minute the queen's not got a direct hit on our king. So we're adding a bit more weight. You can assume the knight's just going to take. So I'm going to take the pawn. So he's got a check on us. And I think he might have got us. Oh, no. If we go here. His queen's not got direct sight. If we go here, yeah, we can go here, can't we? Yeah, okay, no panic. I had a picture of the queen being here, but it's not that situation. 
So he has to rush back here to protect either with the queen or with the rook. Because we still got the squish position. It's got a check on us. Can we take it? No. Nope. And are we safe again coming here? Rook can't get us here. And uh, do, 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 do. it can come here, put a check on. So he's probably got a repetition. I'm trying to avoid repetition, but um, it looks like we're not going to get away from it. Because he's got this golden square here. I can't block it either. I think it'd be worse going here. So if we come here, it's not going to waste time coming down here because we do have the squish. So he's just going to go up with a check on the king. And then if we move here, it just comes across with a check on the king. And if we push up, he just comes down with a check on the king. And he's going to eventually get me. Hmm. Up. No, I can't go up. Cross. Cross onto the white square. Then he can't do that. Um, cross onto the white square. Yep. So then there's no... He's not coming... Well, if he does, he gets taken. So he can't come and protect the pawn there. So he may come and protect the pawn here with the queen. Yep. So I think that's the move he's going to make. Because they'll be fed up of the queen being on the back, not being able to do anything. Still them looking to get an angle towards the king. But still protecting the pawn. So my dried up pieces are still functioning, but, you know, I feel like they're being... Oh, no, I missed that. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Oh, out of all the moves, I missed that. Okay, so we can come here. I think he's got the repetition then, Auntie. Yeah, I can't get out of it. I didn't even spot that. Shame. Has he got repetition or the game? But he's got the game, Auntie. I go here. Comes here. With the check. I go up thinking I'm protecting the pawn. This rook comes down with the check. And then that's going to be job done, isn't it? So if I move there, then his queen takes. Move the king across. Rook either comes and puts a check on. Try and squish the king here, but then he's on a dark square anyway. So he takes the pawn. Oh, ah, dear me. Dead meat. Dead meat. Wow, what a squish. I thought we had it covered then. With my king moving here. Now we, when we haven't got it covered. So I'm a best of screen here. I think I get trapped on. No, because he comes here, doesn't he? I can't get out then, can I? Okay, let's go here. It looks like we're done for. We did try. It did look good. I thought we had it, really. I thought I had it in the bag. Oh. He's still protecting the pawn, though. He's still protecting the pawn. Ah. Ah. Not going to get a break in this game. I, um, I think it's... um. 
we could protect the palm, but i um, just got a bad feeling in my water. It does actually stop the, the rooks not coming down this side now, putting a check on. So when he does put the check on the king here, we can go here, but it's repetition time, isn't it? Oh, why is that protecting that there? If we take queen takes, rook takes, king takes, no, it's not going to work. So bring the queen, just protecting the pawn for now. Then he puts the check on the king. I think there's some sort of sacrifice. Oh, I can see it. I can see what's going to happen. I'm going to have to, if he goes across here, not that he's going to do this. He's going to be on my rook. So if we're up like that, then he's potentially going to sacrifice his rook. Is the tempo right though? He comes across, puts the check on. Remove the kick. Oh, he's going for the rep. He's taking himself off there. Do we squeeze here now? Stopping the king. Oh no, he's, oh, he's got the rep and he's up there. We might as well call it a draw, aren't we? Because this is hurting my brain now. It's just, yeah, it's just going to be a draw. Oh, is he look? Oh, he's looking to probably get a two on one on that pawn. Isn't he? Yeah, so if we go here, then he goes here with a check on the king. And he's got a two on one on the pawn. So I'm just going to stay on the white square. You can still, no, you can't do it because I'm on a white square. You can still bring the queen up to put a two on one on the pawn. And then look to jump here, putting checks on the king again. Oh, bet I lose on time now as well. This is a very squishy game. So I've resigned myself for going for a repetition of some sorts from the opponent. And, but it looks like they're not wanting to give up the, uh, so he's gonna do it. Oh, he's gonna do it differently this time. He's gonna do it differently. Lay any money he does this one. But that's the only way I can go, because if I go up here, then that's not good. Or is it? No, because then he takes this pawn and gets a check on me, doesn't he? So we'll go here, but I think he's going to go this way this time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And the principle went something like, if we went up here... Although he didn't do it last time, but maybe he's thought of it this time. If we went there. Was he coming up here? Putting a two on one on the pawn. Yeah, putting a two on one on the pawn. So I'm going to go back. I don't know if that's helping the situation. It might flash up a threefold repetition thing or something. It might do it now. Oh no, what's happened? It's gone back protecting the pawn. Now, if we went and took this pawn, his queen takes the rook straight off. So we don't want that. If we push the pawn, this pawn takes with a check on our king. So either way, it's not going to work out for us. I'm, I probably need to change. I can't change this position, though. I can't change this position. Surely. If I just attack this pawn, maybe then, and get these pawns ramping up. Or maybe just start pushing this pawn. Or maybe getting the queen nearer to my king so we can get his um, rook off the board. Right, is there a way of doing this then? Bring the rook here. 
and then attack the queen. Oh, is that too late to the party? Rook here. What's his queen got? It's got no immediate direct checks on the... I'm going to bring the rook down. Time is running out. I'm going to bring it down and see if we can look to get rid of the queen. I don't think they will. I think they'll dance around somehow looking to come across here and stuff like that. I might have ruled the day of taking away the power base of... Oh, he's gone straight. He's not interested in any of that. So he's thinking if we do attack, then he's going to take the pawn here. I'm going to attack his queen. Because we want to get rid of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we've got it. Doesn't mean anything, but we've got it. We've got two pawns over here, so we've got an extra pawn. Can we do something with them now? Um, shall we push this one and get behind this one? This was a very long game. It's not over. These things can be messed up quite easily. We're plus one, so it's nice-ish. But now my king is supposed to come and support this pawn, but can it really? Let's go here. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and this pawn's gone. Eek. If he pushes on here, if we tip. Right, so we need to get this pawn up. So the rook's doing multi-purpose supporting. So the extra pawn that we've got is doubled. So in essence, really, I've only got one pawn. That's the way I look at it when the opponent's got double pawns, especially in the end game. Oh my gosh, they're coming down already. Damn it. Um, oh, he's going to get my king. He's getting my king. And then this pawn's falling. Oh, 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 oh. It's getting my king with the check on this pawn. So we need to move this pawn out of the way. And then his king can come down and get that pawn. Oh, that's a damn shame. In fact, it's even worse because he comes here with the check on my king. Then he can sit here. Because if I drop here, he's got the support of this pawn. So, it's probably better, isn't it, if I come here, and then if he does do that, then we can bring our rook here attacking his rook. Problem then we have is he comes down for this pawn. Then we have to push this pawn. And then he attacks that pawn. We have to push this pawn. And then he comes back for this pawn. And then we take all right okay i think that looks better i'm gonna go with that i don't know what's happening with these these might win something let's go with that don't need to overthink that now that was the massive blind spot that we had incurred drops down for this we push oh oh no he's got a passer are we fast enough though take Let's break this down. Takes. Takes. King comes across. His king looks too far away, but is he close enough to start peeling off all my pawns? That's the thing. Right, let's do take our time. Oh, I've only got a minute. Oh, I'm going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to go for it. 
does this king move for our pawns or does he drag me further down the depths of despair if he moves down take this king moves down back up king moves down back up right okay there we've got time to protect the pawn But do we have enough? Let's push this pawn, maybe stopping the king from jumping here. Uh, let's push this pawn, stopping the king from jumping here. And then this pawn should be fast enough. I should, I should be able to let these get taken. And oh, looks like they've left the game. 